In an FLL match, robots have to maneuver across the table to reach missions on the other side. However, if the robot turns a different angle every run, it will never have consistent paths. Therefore, one way to turn consistently is to use the gyro sensor to measure the angular velocity of the robot every time it turns. So here's how to create a gyro turning program. So first you want to drag out a variable block and name that block desired angle. This is going to be where you input however many degrees you want your robot to turn. If you haven't worked with variable blocks, it's like any variable in math, you're basically storing some sort of value within this block. Next, you're going to need two more variable blocks, a math block, and a gyro sensor block. Name this second variable block as desired angle, and then set it as um, read numeric, and also select the port in which your um, gyro sensor is plugged into. Then you want to plug both of these in into a math block, and then plug the output into a right numeric variable and name this end angle. So what this is going to do is going to look at what the gyro sensor is currently sensing and then it's going to calculate where it's going to end up after it turns this many degrees. Next you want to drag out a loop block, um, a variable block, a compare block, and finally a switch block. So first set this variable block as desired angle and read numeric. Set this compare block to greater than or equal to. And then set the switch block as uh, logic. Next, you want to plug in this variable block as A, set B equal to zero, and then plug in the output into the switch block. Lastly, you want to drag out two tank blocks and set it as both the true case and the false case. And set it as on. So what this part of the program is going to do is it's going to check whether the desired angle is a positive or negative value. If it's a positive value, then you want the robot to turn right. And if the desired angle is a negative value, then you want the robot to turn left. These values are arbitrary, so you can choose how fast you want your robot to turn. Next, you're going to need a gyro sensor block a variable, a math block, another math block set to absolute value, a compare block, and finally a switch block. And in the true case of the switch block, put a loop interrupt block. So the first thing you're going to need to do is set this variable block as read numeric, then name it um, end angle. Then you're going to need to change this max block to subtract, and then subtract the gyro sensor value from the end angle. Next, you're going to plug in this into the absolute value block, and then plug the absolute value as value of A. Change this compare block to less than. So the value of B is kind of up to you. What this part is going to do is it's going to calculate the difference between the current gyro angle versus the end angle. And if it's within this range, then it's going to stop. The loop. So the faster you're turning, the larger this number has to be. And the slower you're turning, the smaller this number can be. Finally, you need to change the switch block to logic and then plug in the value of the compare block into it. And then drag out any motor block and turn it off. So this is a complete gyro turning block. You can also turn all of this into a my block. You just have to create an input that can be linked to this variable block.